Hey everybody. I shot a video yesterday where I talked about how completely unnecessary it is to use fish to cycle a tank. Simply using fish as an ammonia source is just unacceptable to me. And I got a comment under that video by one of my regular viewers who remembers long ago that I did an experiment with fish, basically subjecting a bunch of Gambusia to very high nitrate levels to see whether or not it killed them. And they were questioning my hypocrisy or my ethics or what have you uh, about doing one while shooting a video saying it's wrong to do the other. And I thought that was an excellent point and it's a good topic to discuss. So today's video is gonna be all about ethics. I'm sure that's not gonna promote any controversy whatsoever, but today we are in fact gonna talk about ethics within the fish keeping community or just in general. Now ethics has always been a topic that fascinates me. I do have hobbies outside of fish keeping and studying things like psychology and philosophy and whatnot has always been something fascinating to me. And ethics has always been a good topic of discussion because it can just go around and around forever and we never really do come to any kind of conclusion in situations like this. It's all sort of personal. And for me, I do have personal lines that I draw and that's just it. They're personal lines that I draw and I'm fully aware of the fact that a lot of times they're simply arbitrary. They're things that make sense to me but they may not make sense to you. And while I find this to be acceptable, you may say, well, why is that different than this? And in the case of the example I used at the beginning of the video, uh, to me, there's a very clear difference in that. And I made it clear enough in the video yesterday about using the fish as an ammonia source to cycle a tank in, it's unnecessary. There's no reason to do that. You're simply subjecting these fish to high levels of ammonia, which we know will injure or kill them. We know there's a known effect of the ammonia on these fish. So you're deliberately subjecting them to this harmful, potentially deadly scenario for no reason whatsoever. It's actually cheaper and easier to do it without the fish in the process. So that to me is very different than what I did, which was test to see the effects of nitrate on fish. There's no other way for me to do that. It's unfortunate, but I have to use fish in order to find out what the effects on fish is going to be. So in that scenario, I had to use fish and there was a purpose for doing it. I was trying to determine something. I will go further to say that I didn't believe that the fish were going to suffer or die while being exposed to it. And that was really my point for doing the video. I knew that there was a possibility that they could, but I didn't think they would. If I thought I was simply just going to kill these fish and see how long it took the nitrates to kill them or something, I wouldn't do that. I would not do that kind of experiment. To me, it was risky. I knew that these fish may suffer or die, but I didn't think they would. And again, there's only one way you can find out how to do this. It's, it's unfortunate, but sometimes animal testing is necessary if you need to find out something. Now, that brings up the, well, how important was it to find that out? Did you really need to test that on animals? And again, it's just layer after layer of where your line of ethical behavior is. I go fishing, I catch fish, I eat fish. I don't eat the fish I catch, but that's not an ethical reason, it's just a I have no need to. I'll go to the grocery store and buy some orange or or some salmon if I want fish. I fish for the sport. I fish for the enjoyment. And yet, when I'm catching fish, I think to myself, would I do this to fish in my own aquarium? And to some I would, you know. I've, I would catch the native fish that are in my native aquarium like that. I wouldn't necessarily want to catch my angel fish like that. It might do some damage to their face or their gills or something. But I still struggle myself with where's the line between what's acceptable and what's not. I still struggle with the idea that I've got wild animals, if you will, even if they're bred into captivity, fish are not domesticated animals. You know, my cats are meant to live in a home with me. Cows are meant to live in a barn. They've been domesticated. Fish are not domesticated. These are animals that are meant to be swimming around in a river or a lake. And I've got them in a little box of water. Is that okay? You know, where do you draw the line with what's acceptable to you and with what's not? So for me, the long and short of it is trying to keep things in that sort of reasonable category. And I also know that no matter what my ethical standards are, if I'm going to look at you and say, oh, well, you shouldn't do that. There's always somebody over there that can look at me and say, well, you shouldn't do that. 
because there's always somebody that has some different, I'll, I'll even go so far as to say a higher ethical standard, although that's not necessarily true, but they have a different ethical standard than me. So for, his, for, for everybody that out there that I can say, oh, you shouldn't have that fish in a 20 gallon tank, it should be in a 50 gallon tank. You know, there's somebody out there that's gonna tell me, you shouldn't have that fish in a 50 gallon tank, it should be in a 75 gallon tank. So my basic, you know, rule of thumb is not to be too harsh and judgmental on other people. I won't say don't be judgmental. I think that's a misunderstanding that a lot of people make. They say, don't judge others. We judge others all the time and it's okay to do that. If you tell me that you like setting kittens on fire and torturing them to death, I'm going to decide you're not the kind of person I want to hang out with. That's placing judgment on you. If I'm chatting with you and you're a friendly, nice, cheerful person, it may not be some conscious thing, but I've judged you to be a decent person that I'll chat with, have a conversation with. We judge people all the time and there's nothing wrong with that. What's wrong is being overly judgmental, not thinking about your own behavior when you're considering others, being too harsh and too critical, being unrealistic. All of that kind of stuff is what comes into play for me. So just like my own behavior, you know, I give other people a lot of leeway as to, you know, if you're keeping that fish in a 25 gallon tank, I might gently encourage you to do something otherwise, but I'm not gonna be all harsh and judgmental about it. You know, I don't take too much heat when other people are judgmental against me. You know, if you want to say I'm a, you know, a fish killer or I'm a terrible person or whatever, yeah, go ahead. I hear that kind of stuff all the time and that doesn't really bother me because I'm the one that has to, to live with myself. And that's what it always still boils down to. It's a personal line. What is acceptable for me and, you know, not necessarily what is acceptable for you. But I think it's important to have standards to understand them and try to stick to them, and I do. Like I said in the beginning of this video, I can explain why I think this is okay, but this is not. I have my reasons. It's not just arbitrary. I'm not just saying it because I don't like this and I do like that. I have reasons and I do have standards. So again, for whatever that's worth, I know this is just one of those open-ended topics of conversation, but again, I find ethics and ethical sort of behavior and what we consider to be ethical behavior, um, you know, the, the group dynamic of, of, you know, group peer pressure of what other people are gonna say to you about whether you should or shouldn't do this, all that stuff comes into play uh, in this hobby. So I'd really be interested to hear your thoughts. Don't mind putting them long-winded, you know, comments down there. This is one of those kind of things that you sort of have to discuss. You know, a little one-sentence uh, answer isn't really necessarily going to convey your your thoughts or your feelings about ethics and ethical behavior within the hobby. But it's a fascinating topic, and I'd love to hear your comments about it. So I feel like I rambled on enough. You get the idea. Leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching. Make sure you're subscribed. If you like this kind of video, let me know. I can always shoot more of them. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you real soon in the next one.